Star Titan 2, we are carrying on with the Fire Lord Champions career mode. This is called Legacy Mode in this game. Pretty sure that's the right one. Fucking hell, it's been a while since we played this over two months. Fair enough. But, um, yeah, we're getting back into it. I don't, oh, I've been uploading like these loads because college and shit, but it's half term. I'm planning on uploading every day. Ah, how much that's gonna last? Uh, I've got a pick for you off the manager. Is this for a fight? Oh shit, it's for a fight. Uh, yo, did you sleep with Ria, Rivera, Rivera's girl or something? He sent at least a dozen messages this week barking about how he's gonna tell you a new one. Well, not his counts keeping. Here we go, scheduled the fight, do it. Oh, this will be a good fight for us. I'm undefeated. He is three rankings above me. And uh, this will be a good fight for me to win. Uh, where can I go? Okay, I'll call go there, yeah. Fuck, what's the one I usually use? It's going to cost five grand this training camp. You get good results. But yeah, last episode I've done. Like I said, I'm going to try and upload every day this week because I'm on half term. I don't have any work. Well, I do. It's just I've got two months to do it, so I don't know what I mean. Um, but last time we try like play this, I did add my pro debut. Add two fights, as you can see, two and now. <coughs> but yeah, let's just shit. Wrong one. This is the wrong one. I use bastard. Oh well, I'll give it a go. I'll tend to use the sway bag one. A little bit the sway bag one. The sway bag one is quite fun. You just fucking hit hit the bag. And you get bonus points added if you the green section, you gotta try and push all the way. That's the one I tend to play. Okay, you uh, know well, the drill. The session, Combos and weaves, let's go! Bang! 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 Oh, what did you try that one, dickhead? Keep the chin down, keep those elbows in. Step to the side, kid. Weave! Keep that chin down! Stuck! Now slip! Get about being tired. Get a good snap in those shoulders. Oh, you twat. Good, we're done, though. Come on, pick it oh, up. What, what are they even... Oh, I'm doing it again. Oh, no, he does fucking all the want to do. If you can't last here, you won't last in the ring. Slip now. Oh, good hustle. Yes, Keep it up. Oh, 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 my dickhead. Sidestep. Harder, harder. To the side. Sidestep, kid. Step down. You want to win that ring? Not bad. Not good either. Alright, you can get prospect. That's just dreadful. Not even prospect. Uh, then you know what? Rest up. There we go. Train. I'm going to do some athletic skills. Increase my speed. Because speed is key, as Jack Septicoy says. I don't know why I said that. He's got nothing to do with this. Fucking dickhead. No, 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 no. Rest. Need full stamina for the fight. Fight. Weak. Uh, boxer growth. There we go. Oh, mate. What does he stay doing? Minus under punches thrown, there's a chance it will leave an opponent stunned. Oh, I think it just increases the chance of stuns happening and shit. So, yeah. I wouldn't mind playing to the point where I just get all these max. Flash KO. Ah, uh, fair enough. Bell ring at home and whatever. Uh. Apply changes and continue. Let's get to the fight. First one in two months. I did play a match of this last night, slash early hours this morning. But, um, first time I've played in like two months since the last video. I did Muhammad Ali. I wasn't Muhammad Ali. Hi, but everybody. I'm Joe Tessa. Remember what we talked about? Here we go. Round number one, scheduled for six. 
No matter what the sport, Teddy, it's very challenging to string together two absolute masterpiece performances. Winky's last fight was just that. It was his spectacular knockout victory. And he's looking for more of the same. And to get more of the same, he's got to remember, it wasn't just his power. Hush! It was the way he set it up. It was all the little things that he did. Many may believe that in a matchup like this, power puncher versus power puncher, that he who has more power wins. But in a way, is it as simple as saying he who has more fundamentals wins? Yes, absolutely. He who has a missile to get that bomb to the target, he's going to win. Rivera's hit by oh, she's a right hand. Keep your distance. Wow, stunned moments ago, but now somehow, some way, surviving well. You know, Joe, I had a fighter once that got dropped in a round, and he wasn't doing real good up to that point. After that, he fought better. He boxed better, he fought better defensively, and when the fight was over, I said, good job. You know, he whispered to me. He whispered, did I get knocked out? Yeah, he did. Huh. He didn't know what had happened. I realized then he was fighting on instinct the rest of the night. Amazing story. Now he ties up there. Oh, you have to clean for him. A little something for his opponent after getting tagged. Oh. Comes right back at him with a left hand. Winky's well off the mark that time. Final 10 seconds. He gets hit, but he gives it right back. And we come to the end of round number one. Rivera's first few moments in this fight are going to make his corner just cringe time after time. He is getting hit by long-range headshots. Well, they got to remind him, hey, you became a boxer. If you wanted to be a catcher, you should have went to the Yankees and tried out over there. How you doing? You okay? Yeah. My knee. It's like a whole new Once fighter out it. there. Look at him as we start this round. Remember what happened to him in the last round. Now he's up on his toes. Yeah, well, remember what happened to him in the last round. That's what no, we say, but he stone. doesn't say he's that. Right he's putting that out. He's putting it into the rear view mirror. He's going forward down the road with a lot of hope, a lot of vigor, a lot of confidence. Use the ring. Use the ring. Keep moving. Gotta see those coming. Needs to improve that accuracy. Miss with the headshot. A lot of people would think that these two fighters, as well as any fighter, doesn't have fear, but that's not the case. No, it's not the case. First of all, if you say you don't have fear, you're either a liar, or you should go to a doctor very quickly and find out what's wrong with you. I mean, fear is there for a reason, to make sure that you're prepared for a potentially dangerous situation and you behave right. But it's a matter of being able to control your fear, deal with your fear, and be able to make the right choices in those moments. Rivera's thinking defense first right now, Teddy. I mean, you can just see it in it. Wow, what a yes. right hand he just got caught by. And he's looking to tie up. Rivera's showing that he's got some defense of his own. He got away from that punch. He scored well after being hit himself. And now he's targeting upstairs. Ten clicks of the top. There's a straight right hand. And we come to the end of round number two. Winky's grasp of real estate is something special. Right. Look how he just stays on the outside early on in this fight and is able to find his target. Well, you're right, Joe. It's prime real estate for him. I mean, he's in the neighborhood he wants to be on the outside. You're looking good. Keep it up. Keep those hands moving. So I don't have any problem with the real which will be quite a challenge in this fight. Because I've damaged the gun. Well, pretty bad. I've rocked him twice in each round. 
Rivera <laughs> doing a good job <laughs> of being strong on his feet <laughs> right now. He was rocked in that last round. But his opponent doesn't appear to be seeing any damage standing opposite him. Always trying to circle. Slip him around a bit. Off to the side, a little swing and a miss going upstairs. Do you see any way in which he can take his opponent's aggression two, and turn two. it against him? Two. Yeah, the perfect way. I mean, boxing 101, counter punching. You got a guy coming at you, no better way than to change his mind. Make Bang him miss, up. make him pay. Stupendous. <laughs> oh, it's a block, it's a block, it's a block. Rivera is really in Dude. position to control Jesus, things yeah. in this fight. If he can do what he did just there, and that's landed. He is damaged badly yes. there. He may hit the floor. Rivera is just being swarmed. He just got stunned. He got absolutely nailed. Well, he just went from hunted. Rivera is hit by a... Look at that. Boxing Targeting that head oh, and landing with the ball. David about to drop him. Racks on his way out. On eight and twice. Balls is for eight. I wonder if that does actually One, bad. two, three, four. Rivera's gonna keep Good taking to this chance. Rising up after being knocked down. Why would you keep trying to shoot a close to kid? Come on. Come on. Well played, straight right hand. Not able Five. to connect with the uppercut. Nice work on the right hand by Rivera. It's all right. He's moving. As basic as can be, but it works. A jab called by the straight. Trying to go downstairs, but off target. Let me know. Little jab, little throw, dodge. No, you connect. And that's Lovely the end of round. round three. Lovely little round they've shown with them judging a big lead here, oh, Teddy. And we talk about this often as we begin. Rivera's oh, hurt bad it. by a oh, right it. hand. How about that four punch combination? Winky's combination that was landed moments ago is a one of those examples of what every trainer would really like to have. And that's a fighter with good hand speed. Yeah, and he's showing that right now. Now, the trainer in the other corner hopes he has a guy with good timing because timing can negate speed. Left and right. Left. Hey, hey. Let's go. One more, one more, one more. Scored well upstairs with the right hand. Took a shot. Now he gives a left. Ooh. Halfway oh, sorry, through two, round two, number two, two, four. Two. Up top with the right hand. Finish with a hook. How we gonna do? Welcome to the stream. Oh. oh. He clinches when he gets to the inside. Winky's impressing the judges and himself with that right hand. More than one, and it's just what he wants. Good scoring shot. It was a straight right. Oh, what a different from corner from to corner, corner as he sits on his stool. He knows that he is in complete control of this fight, out, no. peppering his opponent with power shots. Well, it's been like that Ooh, all that. night long. Anything he throws well, finds nice. a target. Oh, cool. no, misses. No, Good you. block there by Rivera. Punch, punch. Very nice work from both men. They each got a shot in. 
Winky's right hand did a nice job that time. That worked well for him. Well, if you're a fan of being defensively sound as a fighter, this isn't the guy to watch because he's opening up all day long. Yeah, he is. You know, he reminds me a little bit of my pool guy, you know? He doesn't put, yeah, he, he doesn't put chlorine in the darn pool and, and algae comes around. Well, if you don't throw your punches short, well, algae's not going to come around, but straight punches are coming. That is what I want to see. I'm zooming a bit now. I... Well, supposed to be fighting, yeah, but about... instead he's hugging. Nice work with the uppercut. 90 seconds to go here in this round. Nice work with the overhand right. And now just wasting away some time with Get that off me clinch. <laughs> Rivera's landing a combination here. That's what he does when he's at his very best. Rivera's nailed by a hook. Come on. get me. Coming to the end of round number five, oh, last ten seconds. This is it. Last round. No need to get into a brawl with this guy, okay? That's what he wants. Don't give it to him. Listen, I want you to pick his chance. They meet up one more time. The last round has arrived. Rivera's hurt oh, from that. Oh, he's hurt right there. He is hurt. You know, his opponent's doing a good job of just being patient now and looking for that one good shot. Well, you know, the landscape of this business, the history of this business is littered with guys that they've had someone hurt. Them. Right hand crashes home. He never saw it. Big, big shot he just scored with. And once again, he goes down. The question is, can he rise up again? Boom! Why is he with you? Good. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's it. The fight hey, is over. Knockout. Rivera's a knockout victim. Don't mess with he couldn't me, beat sweetheart. the count. You don't mess. Oh, that was stupendous. himself just as much as I think he shocked us. Who would have ever thought a late knockout here? This thing was assured to go to the scoreboards, but it's over. That. You know, you made a good point. Who would have ever thunk it? Whoever... Fuck it, let's go. Quite a difference in rankings, but... Yep. For the down sphere. The swing bag one I'll look tend to use hobble goo Philly. Let's go train. Skills training. Let's get this on the goo. 
the one I use, love that. Okay, kid. This is gonna take some stamina. Keep moving that bag. As you can see here, you get bonus points for the red. Speed and, and then power. the boys that you see in the top to like the 7,000 nearly. This will get added on at the end. Wanna see some speed? I want to see you punch harder, near, faster. When you take it to the end, you get even more points. Come on now, hit that bag. Come on, explode those He's shoulders. It's a bit tired, but we can do this once. Keep that chin Bang. down. Don't slow down now. Love that, 30,000. I did get to contender though. Nearly a champion. Absolutely love that for me there. We'll rest again. Yes, please. Train. Athletic. All increase. B. I have a message probably for challenging you. Oh no, don't want to rest up. <coughs> yeah, I should look to win because all I do is win, 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 no matter what. So glad you're with us, Joe Tessitore, alongside Teddy Atlas, and we welcome you to the okay, Mexico so City Plaza here in Mexico City and for our main event. And I'm Six rounds of welterweight action, <laughs> and the anticipation for this bout has grown as the week has gone on. A lot of talk behind these two. Now it's time to that walk the walk. During your training career, is this the type of matchup that you liked when you had a power puncher no. facing another power puncher? No, I hated it. I never wanted to fight a big banger. I wanted to be the only guy in that ring that brought that to the party. Winky's right hand scores well that time. Tried the hook, didn't get it. Pulls the trigger right away with the left hand after getting tagged himself. And you can see he wanted Winky. to do that as he holds on there. Oh, he is stuck. He could oh, go that's down. That's fucking clinch straight away. So. Boy, he was hurt, but now he's gathered himself a bit. Blocks that belt line well. He has his target. He lands a straight right. Nice work doubling up that jab. Very nice work to the head. The right hand landed. Another huge shot comes in early on in this fight from him. Well, he understood that his opponent, Joe, was a slow starter. He's jumping right on him, taking advantage. Goes up top with a right hand. There's the combo downstairs. Winky's right hand working well that time. He scored well. Right, bring Absolute it. brilliant round for me. Take a deep breath. Rodriguez's yeah, corner did a good job in that last round. They really got their fighter back to where he needs to be after being damaged in that last round. And that's not the only good job they did in the corner. They did a good job in the camp because obviously they have him in top shape and it's paying dividends right now. Winky's scoring with that right hand. That was good. good step back, counter punch there. Beautiful. 
Didn't get it done going to the body there. Gotta see that come in. Let's go. Oh, a nice two punch combo by Rodriguez. Good exchange. He fires back. Use the ring. Use the ring. One. Halfway through this round. Oh, wait for the right moment. Oh. Good right hand. Oh, nice. Rodriguez is on the bad end of a big hook upstairs. Winky's starting to score at ease against his opponent there. Anytime you can land a three punch combination, you're really hitting your groove. Right to the head with that right. Rodriguez's defense is now serving him well. Nice job blocking that punch. Boom, boom. He nice comes with a straight nice right hand. Blocks the headshot. He missed with that headshot. Come on, and that's the end of round two. Winky's approach here is to score from the outside at long range, Teddy, and he's been headhunting and cashing in. Well, he sees that his opponent is coming in the same way all the time, so he's picking him up, pot shotting him a little bit before he gets close. Nice work with the jab on the outside. He takes a shot and then commits to giving one right back. Well, I don't know if he's hip to the idea of becoming a counter puncher, but I get the sense you'd agree with it. Yeah, definitely. I mean, he's got the perfect platform, the perfect form for it. The guy's walking in right now, not moving his head much. He can time him, he can counter him. Could this be the start of a Fuck, big comeback? Me. He went Jeez. from owning this uh, fight to now nearly down and out. You know, that's what makes boxing so great. Yeah, you can come back just like that. One punch at the right time. That was at the right time. And coming upon the halfway mark of this three-minute round, he gives as well as he takes. You saw it on that exchange. Rodriguez is hurt. Oh, Rocky, Why was he hurt? He was the one doing the hurt just moments ago. Well, he's been reminded about defense. He didn't want that reminder. It just came in the form of a left hook. And bang, and away he goes. Fabulous. Oh, 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 Force a knockdown there. Oh, Boy, did he have oh, leverage oh, on that. Yeah, he positioned himself beautifully. He got underneath that punch. That's why it had the power. One, two, three. Rodriguez is getting he back got up to his feet after the being knocked down. Knock down the first. Targeting that straight left hand. Winky's coming up with the answers, avoiding that punch. Super two-punch combo by Rodriguez. Body shot! Body shot! Wow, no doubt about it, affected yes. by that right Drop. hand. If I were him, I'd be hanging on a little bit here. Three Ooh. minutes gone by in this round. Winky's up three zip on Teddy's scorecard, oh, but boy, obviously back as well. he's putting together a big lead here, having his man down. Yeah, his opponent keeps walking straight in, so he's catching him with straight punches, hard straight punches. Rodriguez is doing exactly what he's always done stylistically, Teddy. Now, he was knocked down early, so what he always does got him in this position. Yeah, he understands his identity. He understands that, you know, he's going to win or lose the man that he is, the fighter that he is. He just has to make sure that he makes a few adaptations. He took a shot, but he gives one of his own a left-hand scores. He's scored well up top. Oh, what an exchange! Good shot to the head with that right hand. He tried to nab him up top, but was unable to connect. There you go! 
Winky's right hand scores well. Boy, he's really getting off with his punches and multi-numbers here. Went to the body there, but unable to connect. Able to get him up against the ropes. And now he brings the left hand upstairs. Some fine fundamentals, good counter punch. Nice mouth oh, chop, they let him in beautifully. He didn't use cheese, he used distance. Rodriguez's lack of defense right now is showing up. His opponent's scoring with the right hand consistently. Yes, he's found the target for that early on, and he's just staying with it, nothing fancy. Another strong Ooh. round of accurate precision oh, punching from him. Bro, it's easy to be accurate when your opponent walks out there and says, please hit me. I mean, he's like putting a sign on himself. Here's the red target. Rodriguez is making for a tough target there. He gets away from that punch. Oh, they both land flush with uppercuts. Side to side. Come on, keep going. Winky's impressing the judges and himself with that right hand. Hey, keep it, Took a keep shot, going. now he gives a left. Winky's so fine, dangerous fine, with that fine. accuracy, a two-punch combination landing. Well, Good return fire that time. Fine, fine, fine. Good accuracy with that uppercut. Winky's three punch combination there is going to impress the judges. Move your head. Boy, oh boy, that's tough to take. Keep your head moving. There's the head shot, but he parries it away. Winky's in a tough spot here. He could go down with that bad defense. Hit, but he sends it right back. For the well-being of the fighter, his corner may need to stop this fight. Yeah, the well-being of now and tomorrow, because this is the kind of beating that's gonna... Big, big shot Shit, comes crashing home. Remember earlier, he was on the canvas. Now he's looking down on his opponent. And we thought it was a bad oh, thing closely. earlier for him. It turned out to be a bad thing for his opponent, because he got careless here. You know, oh, fuck you, dickheads. Nice block by Rodriguez. Well, That's well, the well, kind well, of round well, that tells well, you well, all well, you well, need well, to know about what kind of fight this is. Back and forth action, both guys hurt. That's the kind of round that you better make sure that you did all your work in the gym, that you're in shape, because more to come. Winky's out there for another round after being knocked down in the last round. We know what happens in the 60 seconds with a fighter who was damaged. <laughs> what about those 60 seconds in the opposing corner, Ted? You know, Joe, that's a great question. And I remember my mentor, Customato, when we were training fighters, he used to always say, look, you know you're a banger, and this guy happens to be a banger. Well, if you hit a guy clean, you know you hurt him. But he's not going to show you. He's going to act like a pro. He's going to con you. He's going to act like that didn't hurt him. But you have to remember, hey, it hurt him. So go after him like he showed it, even if he's not showing it. Big right hand. Rodriguez is rocked, and his defense is porous right now. He could go down at any moment. Well, the problem is he's got the habit of blocking punches. When a guy's putting them together, you can't block them all. Some are getting through. Calm down, calm down, calm down, calm down. Boom. Keep nope. moving. Come on. Boom, Jim nope. Comes right Boom. back with a shot of his own. Good, solid right hand lands. Cool. And there's a oh, why did you have to clinch? after clearly why did you have to clinch? being damaged. Let go, let go, let go, let go. that he needed very badly. Done a 
good job there offensively scoring with that left hand. Comes right back with some offense of his own. You can see he's trying to score up top, but off the mark there. So two guys who everybody thought had no chance of hearing the final bell now wait for the judges' scorecards. Uh, explosions early on, but later on, just a little tap dancing. Yes! Seemed like he was destined to win throughout the fight. Teddy, your scorecard oh, oh, showed yeah, that, yeah, yeah. and the judges agree. Unanimous decision. Yeah, he was destined to win because he kept that using that jab all night that long that and fight. outworking his opponent. For now, Teddy Atlas, I'm there. Joe Tessitore. That does it ringside. We'll see you next time. Fucking beautiful that was. We're here with 37th in the ranking. Oh, that's it. The last minute fight. Let's go, son. Okay, this is a three week training program now. So I might train, train, sleep. But I don't think I'm gonna do any of that exercise more where you do the actual punching bag. That's 30. Get my power up and my speed. That's 30. Butterbean! Hey, you thought it was Oh, I said reason. No way. Oh no, he's just trying it, 27. Probably getting on a bit of a losing streak. Rest so I can get full stamina back. Let's go. Good evening, everybody, and I welcome you to Wednesday Night Fights. Alongside Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. Welcome to the Aragon Ballroom here in Chicago, Illinois, for tonight's main event. Six rounds in the welterweight division. This should be a good one tonight. Both fighters say they are primed, coming off a very intense and passionate training camp. Here we go, round number one, scheduled for six. The word we're getting is that he had a very strong training camp. Winky's last fight was a phenomenal effort taking that decision win. Well, if you're a lawyer, the more times you're in the courtroom, you have a long trial, what happens? You become a little bit better. You've been through things. You've seen things. Oh, he had a long fight. He's seen things. He's ready. A headshot blocked. What's the easiest way for a power puncher to go out and get a good, solid win against a guy like this who has a tendency to have low stamina? Forget that you're a power puncher. Go in there like you're a singles hitter. You'll get the home run. Kim's giving his opponent this headaches here now. He's throwing punches, but he's able to block good. them away. I just don't think I can do combos unless he's rocked or in a corner. Halfway through round away from the right moment to try and strike. Oh, he just well, misses with that headshot. Well, that bollocks puts me off. Just, no. Oh! Kim's putting Aiza. forth that hard work he did in training camp there, landing a crisp combination. His stamina's a bit low. His stamina drains a bit quick, so long we're just trying to attack the body as much as I can. Tried to land that upstairs, oh, that was it was close. off the mark. A 
little give and take, and here comes the left hand. Kim's able to avoid that punch. Gets rid of that effort. Last 10 seconds of his first round. Way to block there. How about a return to sender with the left hand? Return and this round sender. comes to an end. Winky's plan is that clearly to go upstairs that that against his opponent. To do so, he's staying out of that danger zone, Teddy. How would you attack that? Well, first of all, you need to move your head. Take that height advantage away. You know, slip to either side a little bit, and all of a sudden, get inside that jab. And he returns on that exchange. Kim's movement's really helping him out, avoiding that punch. Oh, why does he have to clean for me? Winky's doing well here with that two-punch combination. Teddy, he did a smart thing right there. Just created enough space and then landed the counterpunch. Looked like the will of the wisps, the old great Willie Pep. Made him miss, made him pay. Uh, things opened up, and he was able to play the right hand well. Kim's sitting back right now, Teddy, and looking for that counterpunch opportunity, isn't he? Yeah, that's exactly what he's doing. He's waiting, you know, he sees that his opponent is in his armory, so to speak. You know, he's in his castle. He's getting him to come out of his castle. He wants him to come out of his castle, so now he can attack. Stay away from him! Come on! Quick snapping hook, and it does damage. Move up. Winky's showing you Ooh. that sublime skill right now with that two punch combo. Keep your feet. Let it go. Right back. Kim's got to deal with a cut on his cheek right now. The good news is it's below the eye, but still, it could get nasty as the fight progresses. Ooh. And that's the end of round two. I can't imagine that he's not going to look to change this here. I mean, early on, all we've seen is him getting hit by headshot after headshot from long range. Well, he's got to stop moving that head a little bit. I mean, there's three lines of defense, so even if you can... He did not see that right hand at all. He may want to tie up. Well, he may be in bad shape, but all of a sudden, all of a sudden, he's able to avoid punches and survive. You know, boxing is a funny business. It's a metaphor for life. You know, sometimes Ooh. you have somebody outside, and they don't say what they want to say. They have to have a drink. A little alcohol to start saying the things that are on their mind. Sometimes a fight is no different. You know, he gets hurt, and now all of a sudden, all his inhibitions are gone. And now he's doing all the things he's supposed to do because he's not thinking about anything except the things he should have been thinking about. It's automatic. Missed the body shot. Winky's really doing a fine job here, Teddy. And I know everybody falls in love with the clean, effective punching. But you can make an argument that he's controlling this fight right now thanks to his head. Well, nice yeah, you awesome. know, it makes me think about that legendary story about the old great Willie Pep, the will of the wisp. There was a legend that he actually won a round without throwing a punch just by making his opponent miss, just by ring generalship. Left and right, left and right. Not hitting his mark there going upstairs. Solid right hand land. Yes. Winky's combination punching is working well here. He turned things around. Oh, that's gotta hurt. A good knifing punch. That back power hand just scored the knockdown. Kim's back up, Ooh, but toys. is he back in the fight? Ooh. We're going to find out in a second whether or not he moves his head. Now, if he just stands there straight Ooh. and you're the trainer, you better get up on those steps and stop it. He's not right. Combo! Combo! Defense! Count down the final moments of this round. Come on. Come on. 
And Uber, that's the end of round three. Uber, over the tech, right so you win it. Just fight. It. Just keep doing what you're doing, and you got this. Just, you go. just keep that's doing what you're doing. Nice and relaxed. You're in control, right? You got that. <laughs> Round number four <laughs> underway, and I think these first three rounds, this is up three to zip on your scorecard, have given us a glimpse of the hard work he put in the training camp. Yeah, especially to that body. You could see that that was part of the fight plan, and he's really acting on it. Kim's got to prove a few things here. Number one, he's got to prove to his opponent that he's on good oh, ground after being knocked down in the last oh, round. But he's <laughs> also got to prove it to the referee, too. Yeah, he does. And his corner. Because his corner, I just noticed, they put that towel over their shoulder. So they know the condition their fight is in. They know their responsibility. And they're ready to act on it. That's a clean shot able to get in with the right hand. This looks like it could oh, what be just a cringe? matter of time oh, what now. To be Maybe a punch like, go, 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 go. or two away from going down. Teddy, what's he got to do? Well, he's got to grab. He's got to find a way to stop the offense. And to clutch and grab, usually that's one way. 90 seconds to go in round number four. Soon made a well man come. Boom. Winky's putting his punches together now. That's a nice combination. It's pretty good against his team. Right now. Tim's tagged by a right again. hand. Good not smart tactical move here, backing up his opponent against the ropes. Winky's the kind of boxer that wants to do just that. Find the target, get the combination working, land both punches. Great round Fuck now, back me, and forth after he did the hurting, he's the one hurt. Joe, simply put, this is about wit, grit, and spit. This is about fighting. And that's the end of round four. Look at that Chris. Let me paint this picture for you. You got to figure out a strategy, and your fighter's down to one eye. Well, I hope that he read some history books. Or he watched the movie uh, named 300. You saw that movie, oh, didn't yeah. you? Yep. Great movie about the Spartans where they were outnumbered, and they had to get the terrain right to fight the fight. They had to get into the mountains where the greater forces, the great army, could not be the great army. They could not get in there and battle where they could take advantage of their superior forces. That's what he's got to do. He's got to move the fight into a part, a portion of the ring where he will not be vulnerable on that side. Wow, what a turnaround. Fuck you me. never know what's going to happen in this game. You're never supposed to take anything for granted, never assume anything. They tell you that in life. In the ring, you get taught that real fast. He got caught by a big shot. He's throwing a lot of punches right here, but not a lot of them are landing. And that can be very discouraging to the guy who's throwing him because he's working, but he's starting to get a little frustrated, a little concerned that he's not doing damage, as you said. There's a right hand. And you see what he can do when he sends that right to the head. Couldn't hit the elusive target with that straight right. The one was a ship that put to sea the name of the ship for the Billy of the day. Team. Both guys the bringing home uppercuts. They both decide to bring it. <laughs> Jump on him. Nice. Fires right back at him. Winky's showing you what it takes to be the best in this business. Good, crisp combos. And that's the end of round five. Well, here we are start. later in the fight, and really nothing has changed. It's just what we saw from the beginning. He's just been doing a masterful job from the outside. And nothing's going to change, at least not on his side. It shouldn't change, but his opponent needs to change Bang. something now. Otherwise, he might as well just put his hands up and say, hey, this is over, because that's how he's behaving. 
Still no defense out of him. Still no ability to stop this onslaught. He's taking serious damage. And you got to worry about his future. Because the, the blood damage he's taking right now for tonight, okay, we understand that. But how is this going to impact him for the future? That's where you're starting to get into a danger zone right now. Fine. Oh, and there he lands the right hand he's well. Rolling. Winky's landing a combination here. That's what's... Oh! This is going to take some guts to get up from this. Once again, he goes down. Uppercut right. Tim. Left. Right. Uppercut. Long time, huh? Winky's in prime for power surge here. Knockout funny show. Oh, you do it. I don't know why we're always so shocked, but we just oh, are. You think we've learned by now that anything can happen. Here's a fight that is clearly heading to a decision, and just like that, it's over. <laughs> <laughs> The street thing. Oh, I'm a club fighter now. Moving up the legacy lad. At least enough kid you made to move on the legacy lad. You have a new rank. Be sure your legacy goals. Green invite you. Yep. Oh, okay, okay. Champion invited me to spa. But sadly, guys. Going to end that video here. So I really do hope you have enjoyed it guys. I've been your boy Shadow Reaper. Don't know when the next episode will be uploaded. Maybe like this week. Comment, like, subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.